Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see 8 is to 3 priority encoder, its truth table and verilla code, and also test bench. So, 8 is to 3 encoder means here we will be having 8 inputs. So, this 8 inputs will be encoded to 3 outputs. 8 bit input will be converted into 3 bit output. That is how the 8 to 3 encoder is. But here we calling it as a priority encoder. Why? Because the encoding method of this will be different from the normal 8 is to 3 encoder. Here we need to assign the priority out of these 8 inputs. First we need to assign the highest priority to the MSB that is i7. The next priority will be for i6. Similarly, the lowest priority will be for i0. So, highest priority will be for the MSB. If you have an input at highest priority value, so irrespective of these lower priority inputs, we are going to encode into 111. Similarly, when there is no input at the highest priority value, then we need to look at the second highest priority value, that is i6. If you have i6 is equal to 1, it will be coded to 110 irrespective of looking at the other bits. So, let us look at the truth table to understand this priority encoder in a better way. This is the truth table of the 8 is to 3 priority encoder. Here I have shown the first set of values. You can see here i7 is the MSB and i0 is LSP. This will be having a highest priority out of these 8 bits and this LSB having lowest priority out of these 8 bits. Suppose if you have 1 at the MSB, we are not going to look for all these values. These values can be 0 or 1. The encoded output will be 111. Similarly, if you see, if you have any other values here, with this one, the highest priority will be given to MSB, it is already 1. So, irrespective of these values, the encoded output will be 111 itself. Even if in place of 0, if you have 1, it will not change the output. This is how the priority encoder works with the highest priority given to MSB. Suppose if this MSB is 0, then the encoder is looking for I6. If I6 is equal to 1, then it will be not looking for any of the other values. These other values from I5 to I0 can be 0 or 1. So it will be encoded to 110. You can see here with this MSB 0 and this one, the second highest priority value is 1. Even if the other values are 1, 0, 1 or whatever, it will be encoded to 110. Similarly, if you look at the next set of values, the next priority will be given to the next MSB that is I5 and for that these two should be 0. Then only encoder will consider this and it will be encoded to. Similarly, for the same case, if you consider I5 and the highest priority inputs are 0, 0, the lowest priority inputs are anything, it can be 1 or 0, output will be 110. This is how the priority encoder works. So, let us look at the complete root table now. Here, you can see this will be having a enable control signal. If enable is equal to 0, irrespective of the inputs, output will be set to high impedance state. And when enable is equal to 1, this encoder is going to work. So, for all the enable is equal to 1 cases, you can look at the truth table. In the first case, this is the first case where i7 is equal to 1 and all other inputs the encoder is not supposed to be considered. It will not consider i6 to i0 in this case and it will encode this value to 111. Even if in place of x we have 1111 here, the output will be encoded to 111. So, next thing is that here you can see the highest priority value is 0 now. The next priority it is going to check for i6 is 1 or not. If this is 1, it will not check the other inputs, lower priority inputs and it will be encoded to 110. Similarly, the next priority will be for i5. It will encode to 101 when i5 is equal to 1 and the highest priorities are 0. Now it will be not look for the lower priority values. Similarly, the different case of inputs and the encoding output will be like this and when this i0 will be selected or i0 will be considered means all the highest priority inputs are 0 
then if it is looking at i naught is equal to 1 it will be encoded to 0 0 0 this is how all the highest priorities and then the next priority values are looking for encoding so here the thing is that from msb to lsb if we have 8 bit values it will be looking for the highest priority for the msb and if msb is 1 irrespective of the other values it will be encoded to 111 similarly if this msb is 0 then it is looking for the second value if this is also 0 then it is looking for the next value similarly this priority and checking continues the last priority or the least priority will be given to lsb and then it will be encoded to the other value this is how 3 is to 8 priority encoder works to implement this in a Verilog code we require if else statement why because here we need to check first enable is equal to 1 if i7 is equal to 1 then our output will be encoded to 111 irrespective of other input values if this is 0 then it will enter into else part else then we are checking i6 i of 6 is equal to 1 then it will be the output encoded to 110 then if i6 also 0 then it will check for i5 if it is 1 it will be encoded to 101 similarly the lowest priority will be checked next if all the highest priorities are zeros and i of 0 is equal to 1 then it will be encoded to 000, zero, zero. all the 8 bits are 0 then the output will be at high impedance it is equal to zzz this is the design part of Verilog code and here in the test bench you can see I have given four different values in the first case i is equal to 8 tick b 1 triple zero four zeros here this is i7 i7 is equal to 1 so if the output y is equal to 1 1 1 then it is correct similarly in the next case you can see here the lowest priority values are 1 but still i7 is 1 in this case also we are going to get y is equal to 1 1 1 to check the different case of values we can give the different values like this here you can see my msb is 0 i6 is 1 here it should be encoded to y is equal to 110 similarly this case input also gives the same output why because here we have msb is 0 i6 is 1 and it will not consider the lower case input values uh, lower priority inputs so y is equal to 110 again so we can you can give different set of values continuously and check for all the different cases of encoding outputs and initial monitor statement this will display the output values in the log this is about 8 is to 3 priority encoder thank you